Atopic eczema is an inflammatory skin condition characterized by dry, itchy red rashes that favor skin creases such as the folds of the elbows and behind the knees. Atopic eczema affects between 15 to 20 percent of school children and 2 to 10 percent of adults and wet or dry wrapping can be an effective treatment in protecting eczematous skin. Managing eczema, be it your own or your child's, can be truly challenging. At the National Eczema Society, our first tip would be don't give up, don't despair. The condition is difficult to manage because the treatments are quite difficult. Taking a pill is easy. Using many different creams all the time is more complicated. If you know how to use them, they will indeed work better. Eczema is also a challenge because it is such an individual condition. What triggers my eczema will not necessarily be a trigger for someone else and vice versa. From the National Eczema Society's perspective, we would say that it can be very valuable to identify your main trigger factors. Some of them are fairly common to all of us, so it is a good idea to avoid anything with soap in it and similarly anything pr fragranced. Change in temperature can also be difficult because our skin actually acts in part to control temperature. I've been a dermatology nurse for 20 years, working in secondary care and now currently in primary care. I work with a whole variety of people with atopic eczema, ranging from babies and children and adults of all ages. And of course, this also includes parents of babies and children as well. When I first meet parents whose babies have developed atopic eczema, they're often very distressed. For some, this may be a complete bolt out of the blue and the first time they've experienced eczema. For others, eczema may have run in the family and they may have had different um, perspectives and different experiences. I think often the parents who don't have much knowledge of eczema are distressed because they are often being given well-meaning advice by relatives and friends that perhaps isn't necessarily accurate. So my role involves a lot of support, a lot of education, letting parents know exactly what atopic eczema is and how they can manage it. Patient education and support is really important in the management of atopic eczema. Patients and parents are often confronted with a whole variety of treatments. Treatment regimes can be sometimes very complex. Patients and parents really need to learn to understand when to use certain treatments. So this includes emollients, topical steroids, wet and dry wrapping. It's really important that people understand how much they should use, when they should use a treatment, and when to incorporate other strategies such as wet and dry wrapping. Because actually putting all these treatments together can go a long way to control the eczema, help reduce itch, discomfort, inflammation, and generally improve quality life for either the child with atopic eczema, the adult, and of course their family as well. Symptoms of atopic eczema include dry skin, itching, and inflamed skin, which in turn cause sleep disturbance, scratching, discomfort and irritation, and concerns about personal appearance, which impact on the overall quality of life. There are many common triggers which may provoke eczema. Soaps, bubble baths, and fragrance toiletries household irritants such as wool and synthetic clothing, biological detergents or fabric conditioners, and household cleaning products. Temperature and climate, including extreme heat and cold and overheating the home. Inhalant allergens, for example, house dust mites, animal dander, pollens and mold, and stress and anxiety, including lack of sleep. Diet can be a trigger factor in eczema, this is rare and is mainly in children under three years. Atopic eczema can be effectively managed. Avoid soap and fragrances and wash with emollients. 
use non-biological products, and wash clothing and linen at high temperatures. Regularly damp down dust and vacuum the home. Ventilate the home and keep it at a cool, moderate temperature. Adapt furnishings and carpets and replace with tile, lino or wood floors if dust or dust mites are a trigger factor. Hydrate the skin with creams and emollients. Use steroids as prescribed by your doctor. Dietary manipulation should only be tried on the advice of a dietitian. When eczema is flaring or sleep is disturbed due to itch caused by chronic eczema, wrapping or bandaging techniques can be very effective when used as part of a full treatment regime. Wraps hold emollients and medication against the skin, helping to protect it. Choosing the most suitable method depends on the severity of the eczema. During this DVD, we will show you three methods of using garments and bandages in conjunction with emollients and topical steroids, dependent on the advice of your clinician. In more severe cases, wet wrapping with two layers of garments, one wet and one dry, is generally used. In moderate eczema, a single layer of dry garments used with emollients can be very beneficial. When there are localised areas of eczema, patch wrapping is often the best solution. Wet wrap therapy can effectively rehydrate and calm skin severely affected by atopic eczema and can deliver significant improvements of 74% average reduction in itching. For wet wrapping, two layers of garments are being used. Place one set of the garments in warm water. This method of wrapping helps to calm the skin, allows the patient to be more comfortable and prevents them getting cold after application. The individual should soak in a lukewarm bath for approximately 10 minutes and wash with an appropriate soap substitute or wash emollient. Never use soap. Bathing products containing antiseptics are particularly helpful for patients with infected eczema. After bathing, pat the skin dry with a warm towel. Next, emollients are applied to the skin. They should be used regularly to moisten, lubricate and increase flexibility. Apply liberally in long, smooth, gentle strokes in the direction of the hair growth. Remove the garments from the warm water and squeeze out any excess. And roll the garments to aid ease of fitting. Then fit immediately to the trunk and legs, carefully rolling the garments out down the trunk and limbs. Finally, apply the dry garment layer over the wet layer, ensuring all seams for both layers are on the outside for added comfort. Children can wear pyjamas or normal clothing over the dry layers of bandages. Step one. Prepare the garments, placing one set in warm water. Step two, the individual should soak for 10 minutes in a lukewarm bath, washing with emollients. Step three, pat the patient dry with a warm towel and apply leave-on emollients to the skin. Step four, remove the garments from the warm water and squeeze out any excess. Step five, apply one layer of wet garments to the patient. For this demonstration, we are using a single layer of fitted, multi-stretch garments. As before, the patient should soak in a lukewarm bath for approximately 10 minutes and wash with an appropriate soap substitute or wash emollient. Again, emollients are applied to the skin as directed. Starting with the upper body, Roll up the sleeves and trunk section, then place over the head. Stretch the arm to allow easy access and so not to remove any applied medications. Smoothly roll out the trunk section to the waist, then roll out each sleeve to the wrist. Ensure everything is smooth with no folds or creases. 
The same procedure is used for the leggings. Pre-roll the legs and stretch to slip over the limbs. Roll out each limb and again check for creases and folds. How does that feel? Good. Can you stretch your arms up? And the other one. Step one, the individual should soak for 10 minutes in a lukewarm bath washing with emollients. Step two, pat the patient dry with a warm towel and apply leave-on emollients to the skin. Step three, apply one layer of dry garments. The final wrapping technique we are using is patch wrapping. This method is used for localised areas of eczema and is achieved using tubular bandage. Like garments, these are very lightweight and elasticated for flexibility and comfort. Start by measuring the circumference of the limb or area being treated. Then select the appropriately sized bandage that best fits the affected area and cut to the required length. As before, apply emollients to the area of the skin to be dressed. The bandage is very easy to apply by simply rolling a single layer over the affected area for dry wrapping or double layers for wet wrapping applications. Feel all right? Yeah, it's quite nice. Once in place, it allows complete freedom of movement. It also contours very well to all areas, giving exceptional patient comfort. Step 1. The individual should soak for 10 minutes in a lukewarm bath washing with emollients. Step 2. Pat the patient dry with a warm towel and apply leave-on emollients to the skin. Step 3. Apply one layer of dry tubular bandage. The benefits of wet and dry wrapping include reduced itching, which aids sleep and improves comfort during the day. Emollients and medications are held against the skin. Softening and moisturising of the skin, allowing better penetration of the creams. Preventing emollients being wiped off onto clothing. And wraps act as a mechanical barrier to scratching. Wet wrapping also cools and soothes the skin as the moisture evaporates. Comfy Fast Easy Wrap Garments are an advanced range of elasticated viscous garments offering enhanced patient comfort, greater conformity and improved support. The viscous is interwoven with elastomeric strands, enabling it to stretch in multiple directions, radially, longitudinally and diagonally. Comfy Fast Garments can be used for patients with eczema, psoriasis and EB and are also suitable for retention of most dressing types. The Stay Soft fabric retains its softness even after repeated washing, and the light, breathable qualities of the fabric allows the skin to breathe, ensuring patient comfort throughout the treatment period. There is a comprehensive range of sizes and garments to fit all areas of the body, from child socks and clavers to adult vests and leggings. All are ready to wear with no need for cutting, tying or pinning. The Comfort Fast range from Synergy Health provides the most comprehensive range of tubular bandages and garments available to you either from your hospital provider or on prescription. For more information of how the Comfy range can benefit you, please contact us and ask for Comfy Fast today.